Hello everybody and today I will go over the 5 top features of Magic Lantern. Alright, so Magic Lantern has been a very, very powerful tool for DSLR filmmakers. So it basically hacks your DSLR into this awesome, fantastic, powerful filmmaking tool. And it delivers a lot and a lot of new features. In fact, the feature set is so uh, much that I couldn't really go over it one by one in a video like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to summarize them and then I will give you my top five features on Magic Lantern. So at number five is the advanced custom white balance. Now if you're using um, a rebel body, that means you're not using a semi-pro body or a pro body, um, then you don't really have the ability to set a custom Kelvin value on your white balance. But now with Magic Lantern, you can actually do that. You can dial in a custom white balance Kelvin value and then change the white balance according to that, which is really, really great. And then now there's no need to take a picture of a blank surface and having to use that as a reference for the custom white balance uh, function and having to go all the way into the menu and then setting your custom white balance based on that picture and then setting your white balance back to custom white balance and, and then having to redo that every single time you want to use custom custom white balance. So with Magic Lantern, you don't need to do all that crazy stuff again. It's very, very tedious. With Magic Lantern, all you have to do is just um, go to the white balance setting. And then over there, yeah, you, ha you can set the custom white balance, uh, the auto adjust Kelvin plus G slash M, whatever G slash M is. Um, once you've done that, the camera, uh, sorry, Magic Lantern will automatically meter your scene based on the, cust uh, the current white balance and it will adjust the white balance for you automatically. It's like automatic custom white balance, which can save you a lot of time and trouble. So that is a very, very neat feature to have. At number four, we have custom overlays. Um, Magic Lantern has a lot of custom overlays for you, including the anamorphic letterbox overlays, which can be a huge lifesaver when you are um, framing. Because with uh, our Canon DSLRs, all the overlays are fixed at 16 to 9 in video mode. So with the custom overlays, it can really help you a lot when you are trying to frame um, a shot that you are going to crop later on in post-production. Coming down at number three is zebra stripes and peaking. Now one huge feature that pretty much every Canon DSLR is missing is zebra stripes and focus peaking. Now Canon has made these only available on their cinema series cameras like the 1DC, the C100, C300. But with Magic Lantern, you can have it on any compatible DSLR. You have zebra stripes um, so you can see your uh, overexposed areas and you also have focus peaking, which is a huge lifesaver when you are doing manual focus, which is a really, really great feature to have. And number two is the intervalometer. Now up to now, no Canon DSLRs ever have the intervalometer function built in. You have to get the um, external intervalometer shutter release, except the 7D Mark II, which is very new and costs quite a lot. But then if you own every other camera, that is horribly bad news because every other camera does not have intervalometer built in, but Magic Lantern does. So you can shoot time-lapse without having to spend hundreds of bucks on a remote shutter release, which is a huge money saver. And then it's also a very convenient feature to have. Now at number one is probably the most exciting feature of Magic Lantern and that is it enables your DSLR to shoot raw video. It basically turns your DSLR into a cinema camera. Now raw video, you will need very fast cards for that but if you have the very fast cards, the raw video is going to come a long way for your filmmaking experience. There are a ton of advantages to raw video, although the workflow can be a lot more tedious, but for those of you who really want to explore the realm of raw video, Magic Lantern has that covered for you. So these are my top five features, in my opinion, of Magic Lantern. Now I am a little late to the Magic Lantern party, but then, better late than never. So again, those are my opinions on Magic Lantern. Are you a Magic Lantern user? Let me know in the comments below, and what do you think of Magic Lantern? Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.